Hey guys, and welcome to another Clash of Clans video. Today we are looking at Legend League. So now I've started my push to the top of Legend League, and I'm starting off with this army called Sui Mass E Dragon. So the traditional E Drag attack is straight up 7 E Drags, 12 Loons, and a Baby Dragon. Uh, but after doing that for uh, like a week or so, I realized that. You really need wall breakers just in case you see a base where you need to get through the first layer of walls in order to attack an air defense, like on this base here. So then we have the e drags coming in from the top and sort of just spam in. And that's kind of the beauty of this strategy. The the spammier it is, the better it the attack goes actually. A little bit strange, but that's sort of how it works. A couple of E-Drags make their way to the middle, and along with their, along with a couple of free spells, you should be able to take out the Town Hall with those, but if not, we can use the Stone Slammer on the Town Hall, but it's pretty safe there at the moment. We save our Royal Champion for the Eagle Artillery, and that is... Uh, on the other side of the base from the CC, so we can go ahead and do that pretty um, pretty safely. Use the champion ability to take out a couple of buildings, and then we're left with just a just a couple of defenses and like three E drags. So it's gonna be pretty close. In this episode we're gonna see I think four attacks, uh, three triples and a uh, and a high percentage 2-star. And with this strategy, it's really hard to get a low percentage 2-star. I think that's why it's really popular. And along with the fact that a lot of people are running 4 ground expos. So this strategy is used to counter the 4 ground expos. Because you just... There's no reason to... Um, no reason for the expos to fire on you if you have mass e drugs. So we're left up with two e drags, and they sh as long as one of them has sufficient health, it should be able to take out that Inferno Tower with ease. So at the start of the day, I was in uh, rank around 30,000 global and 3,500 in the U.S. And we'll see at the end of the end of the episode um, how that rank goes, how the rank uh, climbs up or goes down. So there we go. That's the first attack of the day. Next we have an anti three star base. So usually on these bases it's pretty hard to do a Sui E drag attack. But this base has one fatal flaw. And you'll see that in a moment. So we're gonna start off by the town hall at six o'clock. Uh, with both of the heroes. And we're gonna wall break into that wizard tower and air defense area. That'll give the queen access to the town hall without luring the CC. That is the fatal flaw. Usually in the CC there would be a hound or three ice golems. So it's really hard for the queen to be able to attack the town hall when a hound or three ice golems is going after you at the same time as you know two ground expos. And this base also has two single Inferno, so you'll see how I end up dealing with that with the e drags. Since we have only seven e drags, and getting just one hit by the single Inferno would be a disaster. So Queen ends up being able to get the Town Hall. It was pretty close actually, but she ends up doing it. Creating the funnel with an e drag at uh, six o'clock, and then just spamming the rest of the game. So we also end up spamming all of the loons at the front. That's how I usually see the attack, but I don't I don't think I'm gonna continue doing that as much. Because there's often a there's often in an archer tower like on the outside of the base that can't be chained. So it'd be really valuable to have loons for that. So on the left side you can see how I'm gonna deal with the last single inferno. The first one just spammed in all the troops out. The second one, I'm 
I have the Stone Slammer going after, and it's going to take out that that um, single Inferno, and it's going to take out that entire compartment, and we have Loons and an e drag in that CC. I'm not sure which one is more, pow more powerful for this strategy, but I think having an extra e drag really helps because we only have seven for our entire base. I'm not sure how often it's enough or not enough. So now it's just a matter of cleanup. We have Barbarian King and a Wizard Tower. A lot of the dragons are on low health, as but you can't quite see that. So it's going to be close. But the... Um, the Wardens could be able to finish off the enemy Warden, of course, so not a huge deal. Yeah, so I think at this point we're like two from four, I think, as of this attack. And this attack is... I can't remember what order these attacks were in, but this is the... I think this is the first Itsu base, Itsu um, Legend League base he sent out onto the world. A little bit strange this design, and that's kind of the point, but there's just one thing that I would have changed on the base, and you'll see that in a moment. So we're starting off with the heroes at 12 o'clock, and that's to end up getting out of the town hall, getting down the town hall, because the walls on the outside are just... Um, three tiles away from the town hall, so the queen can actually reach over those walls and take out the town hall without luring the CC. So unless he's running a damage CC, that's a uh, that's a flaw in the base design. It's a small thing, but it could often uh, lead to a triple. Using a baby dragon and loons to funnel on the left side, on the right side. CC is three ice cones. But I don't have anything to lure it in my way. So I'm so I'm gonna have to deal with that with the Royal Champion at some point. And the E-Drag's gonna come in from the 2 o'clock area. Oh, I do have wall breakers, yeah, that's right. So all the E-Drag's spammed in one, one spot. And that's gonna end up taking out the right side of the base pretty quickly. And then we'll see how the rest of the base fares. So early warden ability. I'm not quite sure about the efficacy of the early warden ability, but it depends really. It's like it's kind of a safe bet because if you leave the warden ability late, like if I still have the warden ability now, I'll just be warden wardening um, dragons that are attacking the outside troops, and that's not exactly useful for the outside buildings. And now the warden's going down, so... The Royal Champion is dealing with the Ice Golems at 12 o'clock. And e -Drag still have two air defenses and an Inferno Tower to deal with, and the Enemy Queen. The Enemy Queen is really, really tough to deal with. She has so much, she, so much HP, especially if you have the... Um, if you don't have a rage on the E-Drags, or if the Warden, the enemy Warden is right near her, she actually can't be one-shotted with E-Drags in a rage spell if the Warden ability, if the enemy Warden ability is on her. So this one's going to be close, I'm not sure. Let's see. Yeah, so I don't think this goes through, but 88% is pretty good. Um, like, if if 70% is the lowest percent you ever get in an attack, you'll probably end up in the top 200. So here, let's check. Or not. <laughs> okay, so here is just one of those really popular bases. 
It was... I think I remember this base from Tunnel 12. Um, it's like, it's really compact and a ring base. Kind of weird. So, that's what made it really interesting at Tunnel 12 when it was new. But now we, we kind of know how to So going in, trying to get this Inferno Tower, and that'll create the funnel for the E-Drags. And spamming all the Lumens and E-Drags in, along with the Air Warden. A couple of early Rage spells, and gonna freeze pretty early, or Warden pretty early. And that'll get a lot of chain value. Some e drags head for the town hall, which is always good. That's what I'm kind of saving my stone slammer for, just in case. Freezing the town hall, making sure that goes down. That is really important. Especially on a ring base that you just can't recover from a failed town hall at the first, um, first attempt. Because once the town hall activates, you're pretty much gone if it's not uh, being targeted. E drag gets a couple of chains. E drag from the Stone Slammer gets a couple of chains. And that's very good for that. Now we have the Royal Champion. I think the CC was maybe air, or maybe I just took it out pretty quickly with the E drags. But, like, if that was a ground CC, that would have been kind of a disaster. But I think I had enough E drags up anyway to, um,. Make sure that that didn't screw up the entire attack. So that's three triples in the day. So that's what we're doing. Uh, so now here is the result of the entire day. Ended up with three triples and five fails, the lowest of which was 75%. If 75% is your worst attack ever, of the season, then you'll probably end up in the top 200. And let's see how I'm doing on the global. 794. Uh, that's up like 28,000 spots, something like that. And 34 on the US, that's up 3,500 spots. So we'll see how this plays out in the later dates. Um, so I hope you learned something. I've been Raze Gaming, and I'm out.